Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. For those of you guys that follow our Tarot Lessons 101, we are going back on schedule starting Sunday. I want to apologize. Uh, we've been trying to make that a priority. However, it seems like life is just pulling us towards <laughs> very different directions. Um, but we're getting back on track, you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. Also, we have a lot of your favorite ritualized soaps that are going to be restocked. They should be ready to go in the month of March. And um, for those of you guys that are returning, welcome back to our channel, my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so you guys can be notified of the videos that are coming up. We have tons of spell videos as well as tons of readings. So you guys definitely stay tuned for that. Let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what is unfolding for you. I want to wish you guys happy Valentine's for those of you guys that celebrate, for those of you guys that are single. I know that it is a time where a lot of the time uh, people that are single have a tendency of like being a bit nostalgic. Do not get yourself in that vibration, you guys. I highly encourage you, especially with Venus retrograde, highly, highly encourage you guys to nurture yourselves, make yourselves a priority, give yourself some love, pamper yourself, go get your ass a waddle, a uh, waddle <laughs> bottle of wine, get yourself some nice dinner, get yourself a good movie, really, really pamper yourself, Pisces. Why? Because with Venus retrograde, it is about internalizing. It is about revisiting perhaps the things or situations that we were dealing with back in 2013 or 14. I think it's 14, 2014. Um, so you may be experiencing, uh, perhaps not with the same people, but uh, circumstances or situations surrounding or connected to something that you were dealing with back in 2014. However, it is about growth. It is about revisiting it is about taking inventory of how people treat us, how people love us, how we need to be loved, how we need to be nurtured. And it starts with yourself, my lovelies. So again, take this time to really take care of yourself, love on yourself, and definitely treat yourself. All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this month of February 2022? Please paint us a clear and vivid picture of what is unfolding for them. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more. Thank you, Spirit. Here we go. We're starting off here with the energy of karma. So this is, again, revisiting the past. For some of you guys, relinquishing past karmic cycles. This includes letting go of people. So you may notice a theme of people from your past coming back or people in your present that are pulling away or you're falling out with or misunderstandings that lead to some type of distancing. Whatever it is, embrace it, Pisces, because it is spirit's way of clearing the path. I should say clearing the snakes from your grass. <laughs> That's what came to mind. So again, take it as a blessing because you're being guided. You're being guided to the path that you should be on. And this includes bringing to you new people that are going to help you elevate yourself, your spirit, and your mind, as well as that are going to vibrate to the new you, Pisces. So again, beautiful energy, not negative energy whatsoever. Here we have the hanged man. It's seeing things from a very different perspective. It is being able to step away from your current situation or the way you viewed life, the way you viewed relationships, connections, partnerships, family members, and seeing it with very different eyes, very different perspective, this is growth. This is expansion. The hanged man always indicates being able, sometimes it's necessary, believe it or not, um, to have stillness in our life because we are so accustomed to living the fast life, right? Everyday routine, 
having to take kids to school, having to go to work, getting home, taking care of the home, feeding the kids, um, work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? And we forget to nurture or to feed our soul or to listen to what our soul is craving and desiring. And the hanged man is exactly the representation of having some time of stillness or have experienced some type of stillness where perhaps you felt stuck. However, that stuckness was of your greatest and higher good because it was necessary in order to cut karmic cycles, in order to release yourself from karmic connections, karmic relationships. It is about being able to start anew. Keep in mind, we have Jupiter in your sign, my lovelies. What does this mean? Blessings. Jupiter always brings blessings. Jupiter is there telling you, Pisces, if you want to grow, if you want to succeed, I will give you that. But think big. Stop thinking little. Stop asking for little. Stop over giving yourself or over sharing yourself with everyone else and not receiving that in return. All right. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles, abundance, being confident, being in your power, receiving. This is about being blessed. This is about counting your blessings, Pisces. Your next card is your card, my lovelies, the Queen of Cups. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready to set out on a new journey. You're ready to embrace your intuition. You're ready to align yourself to be able to bring to you, making things happen, knowing what you deserve and reaching for that. You see the queen reaching for that cup that is filled with abundance, with health, with success, with love. It's about knowing that you deserve that and being okay with that and embracing it and not settling or being okay with settling with what little people are willing to put when we're talking about effort and energy. The queen sits on her throne covered, right, protected by the shell. This is your intuition and paying attention to your intuition. This is about having one foot on earth, being grounded, being anchored, but also knowing the power that you possess having one foot in the material and the other in your spiritual side, right? Emotion, water, intuition. It's about finding the balance within those two to be able to manifest your truest potential, to be able to manifest your calling, what you deserve, what you crave, what you want. Your next card here is the two of swords. Letting go, letting go of being scared to take that leap of faith. Letting go of what keeps you from growing, what keeps you from your happiness. Letting go of the fear of uncertainty and jumping head on. Queen of Wands, maybe dealing with fire energy. For some of you guys, you have a tendency of often comparing yourself to others. Whether it's on a material sense, what they have for others of you, comparing yourself to to other people, not necessarily in a negative way, but 
asking yourself, why am I not mentally strong? Why am I not as courageous or daring as that other person? Spirit is telling you, you have that in you, Pisces. You just got to believe in yourself. You just got to be confident in yourself and in what you're doing. It's about trusting what your gut is telling you. This could be in connection to relationship as well. If you're dealing with a situation where the person has you confused or has you feeling stuck, but deep down you know something is up, pay attention to that. Because I have two queens here. Doesn't matter female or masculine energy, it's a general rating. Pay attention to your intuition, Pisces. The magician. Month of March is going to be so powerful for you, Pisces. You're going to start to see really the true power that you have when you're willing to, instead of overthink, use that energy towards what you want and get yourself to the point of obsession of what you want and watch how things start to happen for you. See, a lot of people often have this thing of, especially um, Piscean energy. You guys are ruled by water. Overly emotional. Sometimes you guys can't help overthinking because you get all in your emotions and your feelings and it just overpowers you. And a lot of you guys create depression, anxiousness, panic attacks, stuff like that. Why? Because you don't learn to control your thoughts. But if you learned, if you taught yourself, instead of overthinking and worrying about things that are not there, you know, we just let our mind run wild. Put a rein on your mind. Redirect your energy towards what you want to happen instead of what you don't want to happen. Obsess over that. And watch how things start to manifest for you, Pisces. Watch how things start to unfold in a very positive way. There is potential in that. Overthinkers are marvelous manifestors. You just need to learn to direct that energy. Look at that. Six of Wands. Success. Accomplishment. Seeing your goals manifest and achieving them with great pride. Stop worrying. If there's something that has you worried or in your feelings right now, Pisces, let that shit go. Spirit is telling you, you do not know how blessed, how blessed and how powerful I've made you. Use that to your advantage. Teach yourself to redirect your energy. Focus on what you want. Stop focusing on what you don't want to happen. Watch how quickly things come to you in a very marvelous and beautiful way. I hope that this gives you guidance. I hope it gives you insight and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.